Hi, I'm Jeanette Fitzsimons and I'm really concerned about the asset sales argument at this election, but for different reasons from what you might expect. Everyone's talking asset sales at the moment. They're talking about what it might do to our electricity prices or we lose control of um, at the infrastructure in our economy or we lose the dividends for them. But there's another reason to be really concerned about what's happening. One of the companies the government wants to sell half of is Solid Energy. That's our coal company. Now coal is the dirtiest of all the fuels and it's the worst for climate change. We actually have to phase out coal completely over the next 20 years if our grandchildren are going to have a future worth living in because coal is changing the climate really fast. Well, the worst sort of coal is lignite and 80% of New Zealand's coal is lignite, mainly in Southland. And Solid Energy has got its eyes on that lignite. They want to dig it all up. They want to make it into briquettes for fuel. They want to make it into urea. And they want to make it into diesel. These are the biggest industrial projects New Zealand has ever seen. And they would be absolutely disastrous for our climate change emissions. Well, supposing half of Solid Energy is sold, government would no longer be able to give it a direction saying, don't touch that lignite. Go do something with wood energy instead because that's what we need. Government wouldn't be able to do that because half of solid energy would be owned by a foreign company. Now, we don't know which foreign company, but when you look at where the capital is to do these projects, solid energy hasn't got it, the government hasn't got it, it would most likely come from China. And New Zealand has a free trade agreement with China, which says that if a Chinese company invests in New Zealand, and then the New Zealand government sometime in the future changes the law in a way that disadvantages that company, they can sue us at a secret tribunal outside New Zealand and get compensation for their losses from the New Zealand taxpayer. So if any future New Zealand government wanted to finally have a sensible climate change policy, which we don't have at the moment, put a real decent price on carbon, or just say no to lignite, the Chinese investor would be able to sue future New Zealanders, your children, and they could get millions and millions of dollars of compensation from your children simply for being required to have a decent climate change program. Well, that's a pretty bad story, isn't it? But it actually gets worse because the government is right now trying to negotiate another free trade agreement, it's not actually about trade at all, it's about investment, called the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And that includes the United States, as well as a number of other countries. If that gets signed, then we will have the United States' preferred version of investor state dispute provisions, which will mean that if an American company, or one from any of those other countries, buys half of solid energy, we'll have the same problem or worse. So asset sales are a disaster for our climate change policy. They're a disaster for our children. Please help me stop them. That's why I really don't want half of solid energy to be sold at this election. And I hope you'll help me stop it.